evening, everyone. Thank you. Just going to give everybody a moment to take their seats. And I will start by welcoming everybody to CTA this evening for our much anticipated winter showcase. Yes, give it up for our students. Our students in grades four through six work so hard to put together such a fantastic evening for each of you. And to see our shul and our school filled up in this way for a community come together like this is really special and it makes me so happy. For those that don't know me, I'm Miranda Kogan. I'm the elementary school principal here. Um, so it's good to see so many of you. Our students, like I said, have been working hard during their Shabbat electives to share some of their talents and skills that we don't necessarily get to see in the classroom in a really special way. I'm not going to take up too much time because we have a big program, but I do have a public service announcement. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, and children clear of the aisles. We have actors and actresses that are going to be using all of this space. So we're gonna have actors and actresses here, going up and down throughout the night. And we wanna make sure that we're keeping everybody safe and out of the aisles. Thank you. I'm now going to turn it over to Leah Savage, who has coordinated so much of our program for you this evening to introduce each elective so that they can showcase their skills and what they've been working on for you this evening. I hope that everybody enjoys tonight's program. Thank you again for being here. So we did cookies, we've done rub luck, we've done muffins, we've done cakes. We did a whole bunch of things. Um, and the students learned about the, making sure that the mixing ingredients in the proper amounts and the proper orders and getting it baked. Um, they did a really nice job. They also worked really hard tonight serving all that food. They were here since 4 o'clock and even earlier today. Chopping and rice. Um, that's on display right outside the shul um, that was baked by the students and it was decorated as well. You'll see that we did fondant figures. Fondant is like a 
It's kind of like Play-Doh, but it's edible and it's sweet. Um, and they make different characters from Peter Pan, um, as well as other famous objects from Peter Pan. So when you're stepping out, you'll be able to see um, some of their work um, that is on display right outside the show. Everyone here, come take a bow for all the <laughs> Picture. Hold on. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Give me a second. Perfect. All right. Give it up. Awesome job being the elective. Thank you.
before we begin, I just would like to give a shout out to Mrs. Tannebelle, uh, Mrs. Buster, Mrs. Paxson, Mrs. Lerner, and um, all of the extra staff that last minute stepped up to help and to do hair or to serve food or any of those extra things that is totally in addition to what they do all day. So thank you for all of those extra production of Peter Pan. I'm going to ask that if you can please be quiet during this production. These kids have worked very, very hard. They've been practicing and practicing and I'm telling you the level of production that we have here is beyond amazing and you'll be able to see it for yourselves. And we're going to actually call up one of our actresses who's going to tell you something before the show. So, Eliana, come on up. This play was written based off the Peter Pan novel from 1904. We will give the same disclaimer that Disney gives when presenting the Peter Pan play in its film version. This play includes negative de depiction and or mis mistreatment of people or cultures. These stereotypes were wrong then and were wrong now. Rather than remove these scenes, we want to acknowledge the harmful impact, learn from it, and start conversations to create a more inclusive future together. Thank you very much. The play is being recorded, so you do not have to use your own phones for that. If we could have all phones off, and we're going to get the actors ready, we'll start momentarily. Thank you. Peter Pan's, of course. 
He left it here last time he came to visit. Just, of course. Just then, then when Nana came into the nursery. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nana was a dog, but the children could always understand what she had said. What are you hiding, children? What, what, what? Oh, nothing, Nana. We were just getting ready for bed. And they had a father, your darling. <laughs> this tie won't pop. And a mother, Mary, darling. Now, now, George, let me help you. <laughs> if this tie won't tie, then we can't go to the party. If we can't go to the party, then I'll lose my job. And if I lose my job, we'll have to live on the streets. There now, better? Thank you, Mary. Now, children, I've made a decision. It's time for Wendy to leave the nursery. <gasps> but why? You're not a child anymore. You're a young lady. And it's time for Nana to sleep outside like all the other dogs. What? what? <laughs> you heard me. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Nana wants to give the children their medicine, dear. All right, one last time. <laughs> Ow! Woo! Come along, Mary. Must be the Just a moment, I'll be right down. Darlings, you know your father means well. He loves you very much. But he said I have to grow up, and I don't want to grow up, Mother. Nobody wants to grow up, YD, but we all have to someday. Now get a good night's sleep, and we'll see you in the morning. And don't worry, Nana will be just fine.
target with my bow and arrow. That there's the most beautiful Indian princess in Neverland. Welcome back, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. Peter, come on, you're Neverland is the most magical place to live. We are surrounded by oceans, mountains, rivers, waterfalls, and trees. Most of the people in Neverland are kind, warm, and welcoming. The Indians you have met, led by Chief Great Big Little Panther, but wait till you meet the lost boys, Tootles, Nibs, Curly, and twins, Harry and Terry. Then there are the magical mermaids, Pearl, Starfish, and Moonglow. But you must be wary of the pirates. Noodler, Noodler, Skylight, Skylight, Tattoo Bill, Mr. Smee, and worst of all, Captain Hook. <laughs> He's a fierce and lonesome pirate. Tiger Lily. Coming, Chief. I have to go. Remember what I said about the pirates? For here they come. Good luck. See you later, Peter. How I mean, oh, how. How I mean, oh, how.
he who's about to be named Voldemort? No! He's <laughs> more terrible than all of them put together! Oh! oh. Shh! Here he is! <gasps> Sure is what? 
<laughs> yeah, totally, totally. No. We <laughs> The next day, Peter took Wendy to the lagoon to meet the mermaids. If you close your eyes and think lovely thoughts, you can imagine a pool of blue water shimmering in the sun. The mermaids were splashing in the water. This way, Wendy, now you can look. Why, Peter, it's beautiful. Pearl. It's okay. 
I got my revenge. Arr! I heard set her free. Arr! I'm right here, Smee. Can't you hear me? Is it your captain speaking? <clears throat> Smee, it's Captain Hook. You should listen to Captain Hook. You say to set her free? I heard him. Set me free. Is this mutiny? Do as I say. Mutiny. Arr! Mutiny. Arr! Mutiny. Arr! It is. It's mutiny if you don't do what he says. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I will set her free. Arr!
关机。哦、oh. <laughs> 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 Take this tattoo, so you'll always be a fierce pirate like me. Arr! <laughs> Thank you, Tattoo Bill. <laughs> Harley, Pirate John Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it happens. Your secret is safe with me, Noodler. <laughs> Don't worry, Joan. I'll keep an eye on the lost boys. Make sure it's your good eyes, Skylights. Be pirates, happy eyes. Look back, remember us by Captain Jones. Thank you, mateys. Remember, Michael, aim straight and you'll always hit your target. I will, Long Shadow. I will, Lee Wolf. <laughs> we are very sorry, Wendy, but we're going to stay here with Peter. Oh, Wendy, I'm so sorry for shooting you. I will miss you very much. Please come and visit us. Goodbye, Toodles. Goodbye, Wendy. We promise to brush our teeth. Goodbye, Nibs. Goodbye, Wendy. We promise to fly. Goodbye, Curly. <laughs> Goodbye, Wendy. Terry will miss me. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Wendy. Harry will miss you. Goodbye, Harry. Goodbye, Terry. Oh, I will miss you all. <laughs> Goodbye, Wendy. Don't worry about the lost boys. I will take care of them. I will give them their medicine. I will make them brush their teeth and floss. I will put them to bed and tell them stories. Goodbye, Tiger Lily. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Ready. Of course you did. 
it, children. Yes, yes. Now it's time to brush your teeth and go to bed. <laughs> Don't forget to floss. <laughs> children to Broadway. <laughs> uh, I know that you can see all of you, uh, some of our adults that made today possible. So please come down. Miss Angela Barth, thank you so much. Your theater knowledge and skills and abilities you made tonight beautiful. Thank you. Put into tonight. 
and Miss Sarah Weinstein, please come down. Thank you. Parents, your children, our students will be outside to provide autographs and to be ready for pickup. I hope that everybody has a wonderful evening. Thank you for investing in your child.